All right, in classic retrograde fashion, my phone is about to die. So let's have a look at what energies we are dealing with for Thursday, May 26th. Okay. I'm getting right into it because I don't want my battery to die. I mean, we are at this point in the thick of the Mercury retrograde. What is this? Emperor. Masculine energy at the forefront. Also a call not to control things as much because everything is out of your control right now, beauty. <laughs> we are in the thick of retrograde. It's not easy right now. But just understand, everything is a blessing. Okay, this is just like screaming masculine energy to me today. Mm -hmm. Emperor, Three of Pentacles, King of Cups, Magician. I feel a burning sneeze coming on right now, but nothing is coming out. So I'm feeling like this masculine energy is definitely exercising a lot of control and they're not trying to express their emotions. It's like it's burning so much in my nasal. Now, mind you, I've got sinuses, but nothing's been acting up today. It's this burning sneeze that wants to come out, but it's not. And I feel like this masculine energy is very good at containing their feelings. You may have felt that if you were connected to this masculine energy, or this could be the masculine energy in you, that there is this desire to just suppress what you're feeling because you don't want to contribute any value to attribute sorry any value to your emotions because if you validate your own emotions then that means what it is that you're trying to avoid in front of you is a reality that needs to be accepted and you don't want to accept your circumstances i'm feeling that there's truth that you're being given about the relationships and connections in your life that you do not want to understand you don't want to understand it you're turning a blind eye to it this could be the person you're connected to as well but there's also on the other end this desire to manifest something that's emotionally fulfilling. But how can you move towards anything that's emotionally fulfilling if you don't want to feel anything, period? That's the first thing that came up, right? Emotions are meant to be felt and expressed, not suppressed. Even anger. Something like anger should be expressed. You want to be responsible and you want to be safe and you want to be mindful of your actions, of course. Oh. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Sun. You know what's so funny right now? I'm seeing the King of Pentacles here. I'm not going to take it. But at the bottom of the deck, at the last shuffle, was a Queen of Pentacles. So I'm seeing that there is something playing out between you and this person. And how you're both grounding yourselves. As much as you watching this video, I feel like is are, are further along your journey. Because I do think you're coming through as a Queen of Pentacles. You're not completely out of the, the cloud yet. Okay? This person is going through it as well. Despite the control that's being exercised over the emotions and despite the desire to move forward and create and manifest something that's emotionally fulfilling, I think the mistake, oh, I don't want to say mistake, it's the only word that's coming to me because my coffee hasn't kicked in, but I think the error, the error in judgment that this person is making right now is that they're trying to manifest something that can be emotionally fulfilling based off of what they're denying. OK, so let's say this person is connecting with people with a certain emotion and it's not working for them. I'm just giving an example. They're turning a blind eye because they don't want to understand what it is that they need to heal in order to bring balance into their connections. They're being very they're being made aware right now by the universe about what is not working on their end. Yes, there are other people who are part of this connection with them too. Yes, other people contribute as well. It's not all this person's fault. But this person is being made aware of their actions, of their contributions, and their tendency to create imbalance due to lack of authenticity is what I'm seeing here because of the Ace of Swords. Now, this person is turning a blind eye and they're trying to control circumstances because they don't want to be authentic because being authentic means... I have to heal. I have to acknowledge things that I don't want to talk about right now. And I have to start walking down a path I'm not ready to. So I'm going to deny everything and try to manifest something that will make me feel happy based off of how I want things to be. That's the emotional fulfillment I'm seeing this person trying to manifest. They aren't trying to 
I think deep down inside, your soul is craving for some emotional fulfillment, of course, because this type of control they're exercising and this lack of authenticity they're expressing and living in is not helping them. But right now, they're trying to manifest something emotionally fulfilling because they know they want to be happy and they know they want their soul nourished. But they're doing it based off of what they're not trying to accept. That's not the right way to go about it. It's not your authenticity. It's just not who you are. So why would you do that, right? That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. But here with the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun, I'm seeing that this person has actually no escape at this point. The universe is bringing in an opportunity that they will accept that will get them to start communicating correctly, get them to start working towards their authenticity. This is authenticity here. Ace of Swords and the Sun. I don't think this person has a choice anymore. Now, because I do see some desire on a soul level, remember these cards gave me dual meanings, right? Emotional fulfillment based off of what it is you're not trying to accept. And then deep down inside, definitely the desire to be happier. I am seeing because this person does from a very soulful place desire to be set free from the circumstances they're trying to control, there are going to be shifts that are going to occur in their 3D world that will alleviate any of the pressures that they felt they needed to keep on themselves. That's what I'm seeing here. And to me, there's a strong time marker with the sun. To see the magician and the sun here together, I'm seeing there's a huge time marker with the Leo season. <laughs> What do you need to know about the page of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the sun? What is the shifts and the truth and the changes going through this person? Oh my god. Here comes the queen of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. There's too many cards there. Six of Wands, I like that. So this person, it's, you know what? You are connected to this person's authenticity. I mean, this reading is happening here for a reason. I don't think this reading is about you. This reading is about someone you're connected to. Someone you desire, someone you miss. Someone you hoped things had worked out with. Now, the one thing I'll say is, I don't know what this person's actions are going to be towards you, but this is the year, 2022, that shit breaks apart to come together for this person. That's for sure. I'm seeing that the delivery from the universe may be very loud and clear and bright, but it might not be as catastrophic or dramatic as your ego may hope. <laughs> you know, I've always struggled with that too. Like I want vindication. I want them to, you know, see things. But because there's this deep soul desire on one end to really want change, I'm seeing this person might feel uncomfortable, might resist. But deep down inside, I think they're going to be kind of happy that, okay, I don't need to worry about a bunch of things anymore. Maybe this journey is going to be a little easier than I expect. Okay, it could also be that this person gradually gets here themselves. Okay, the time marker was there at 822 and 823 again. There's a lot of people who've been booking with me recently with the birthday is 822, August 22nd and August 23rd. So some Leo Virgo mixes here. And mind you, I did get the Queen of Pentacles here. But you are connected to this person's journey. So I'm seeing that Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Six of Wands. This person within the energies of this Mercury retrograde and definitely with the eclipse season that has passed, has come to understand how you have played a role in that journey. And listen, I want to be honest with you. There is the desire to plant new seeds towards you. There is the desire to want something brand new with you. I don't know the nature of that. I'll look at it. I, I'm being very careful. I don't think I should get predictive about what could potentially happen. I think we need to allow this energy to play out. And I think that's where I'm going to stick with this. I'm unclear as to how this person is going to come towards you, but they are turning a leaf in how they feel about you. And I think that's the first step. And that is good encouragement. Um, I don't want to get to this point where I start like mapping out this person's actions because it is energy. And I'm noticing that a lot of people get very connected to timestamps when I say them. And it's not what I always like to encourage. And this time around specifically, I'm being told not to. But 
you you do play a divine purpose here and they understand that they understand that you are meant to show them their power you are meant to show them how they exist in the bigger picture You were meant to show them how they can move forward in their life. And they understand that now. I think they may have been very resistant to it in the past. Because you were communicating. You were showing them here. Look at this. You were showing them that they needed to go within in order to move forward. And they didn't want to go within. It wasn't something that they wanted to do. But they see you play a role here. Okay, what is it that this person is trying to deny? Because I'm getting a very strong feeling of trying to control what people see and feel. Definitely trying to control what people see and feel they're trying to control your image this person definitely values the opinion of others that's for sure you know what i don't think this person has a chance anymore Seven of Cups is just all the different opinions that they've valued, all the different things that they've been trying to keep up in the air. It's impossible. They can't keep up with this anymore. It's like they're playing, they're putting on a mask and they're putting on an image of themselves and they've had to play a different role with different people in different circumstances all over the place. It's becoming exhausting. This person's desire to be better, to show up better, is based and rooted in their authentic truth. And I'm seeing that they're starting to understand that. And it seems to me that on one end, they're rushing towards keeping on this mask because they're just afraid of what people might think of them. But on the other end, you know, that cycle is wrapping up too. So this person, I feel the frustration and the desire to control is so strong right now because there's two things opening on two opposite polarities in two extremes. In one level, the universe is wrapping shit up and making it very clear to this person what's not working and how they need to be in this authentic authentic truth. And the universe is not waiting for them. The universe is showing them one after the other. And as the universe forces this truth in, they're trying so hard to keep this image running. But it's not working. This is going to crash and burn. Yeah, it's going to crash and burn. And they're going to be given a new opportunity to restart afresh here. And they're going to learn more about themselves. I think maybe this person doesn't know much about themselves, to be honest with you, because they've been denying your truth so much. Yeah, they're in denial. <laughs> Total denial. And what else are they understanding about you? I'll go that far. This is about to pop up. Chariot, that you are movement forward, that you have the answers and the keys to move forward. To bring them stability and transformation and new opportunity. They understand this and healing. Look at this, Queen of Wands. They came through as the King of Wands. They won't be able to do this anymore because they'll have to step into their power and then I get a divine pair here. Okay, I want to look at the advice to you. Because this was very heavy on that person. What's your advice? King of Swords. Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Three of Cups. You know what? World. Reconciliation and opportunity to amend will definitely greet you. But I think... Be discerning. This is a card of discernment for me in this deck. This person isn't so cold and cut off, right? Okay? But look how quickly that flipped around too. I think the temptation to get back to normal with this person is going to be very high. But I'm seeing that you need to exercise discernment from a place of self-love, but also have compassion because this person is entering a place where they can ground themselves. They will ground themselves. Enjoy the lighthearted moments with this person and understand that they're wrapping out a cycle. But also know that if it doesn't feel good to you, you don't need to accept it. Okay? I'll leave that there.